and welcome to the KZoom Borderline Too Much Fun podcast. I'm Jordan. And I'm Laura. And we're here today to talk about three tips for creating recruitment videos. So we're part of the video team here at KZoom. So we do a lot of these. So we're, we're just going to kind of talk about them, talk about the tips, see what, what, what they're good for, why, why do these things. Um, so let's, what is a recruitment video? Do you want to just kind of jump into that one? Yeah, um, so a recruitment video is a video that a company um, can use to draw attention and um, applicants to their company. Um, if they're hiring, I think it's especially useful if um, you're understaffed and you need to get a lot of people um, in and kind of just seeing what you're about. So Yeah, I feel like it's especially... And I feel like it's cliche to say, especially now, it's important for recruitment videos, but it feels like that's been like that for a couple of years now, Yeah. where recruitment videos are really important. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people are on social media, and a lot of people are, are on their screens, and we, we, we like to see things right now, and I think it's um, the perfect way to kind of bring life to your company through, like, just through your website is to, like have a video so people can watch it and see exactly what you're about. Yeah, I would agree. I think people want to see that. What, what's it like working there? I mean, if I'm going to commit my time, my energy um, to helping, you know, a company or, or focus on my career, I want to be somewhere I want to be. Yeah. So I think that's yeah. important. Yeah. Um, let's start with the first tip. Um, I have paint a picture of your whole workforce. So. What that means is when people come to your website, they're looking at a video about your business or the place that they're going to be working, they don't necessarily want to hear from just the higher-ups because obviously the higher-ups have a better, a, a different view. Mm -hmm. Unless, you know, they're being hired as a higher-up, they might connect with that. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's why you should paint a whole picture rather than just give, you know, the owner's perspective, the leadership perspective, I think you need to touch on everybody. So talk talk to the people who have been here at your at your business the longest, and talk to the people who uh, have been there the shortest. Um, I mean, why would it be a good idea to have someone who's just hired talk? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that um, people who are just recently hired can provide different insight than people who've been there for a long time. I mean, they're seeing things from a really new and raw perspective um, and they don't have like the expectations that those who have been there for a long time have. Yeah, no, I, I, I would agree because especially if you want to know why they started there. Yeah, like, exactly. What drew them there. That's true. Um, that's true. I think that's, that's important to ask. Yeah, and to hear from them because if, if there's something like if you offer a special benefit or something that really stood out to them being a, a, a new recruit mm -hmm. maybe another recruit would see that and they they're think wow that that's what I'm looking for yeah and I think you made a good point um, before that like you based on the positions that you are trying to hire for like whether it's a higher up position or a beginning position like people are gonna want um, to hear things from people at different levels you know mm -hmm. like if you're being hired for a higher up position you're gonna want to hear what people who are higher up have to say yeah. but you also want to hear are the people at lower positions who are newer are they happy like are they happy with their management yeah yeah absolutely I think just giving people I mean if, if I'm going into a company I want to know what my leadership is like yeah or yeah. If I'm coming in at a leadership position, like I want to know what the people under me think. Yeah, um, totally. So that that's, I think that it wraps around, you know, being authentic and being and capturing the authentic part of your company, not just curating it to the perfect, uh, perfect people on camera, mm -hmm. or who you think the perfect people on camera might be. Yeah, the faces of your company per se. Mm -hmm. um, people can tell if it's. You know, the leadership team talking great about the company versus mm -hmm. people who have just yeah. started. Yeah, I think that authenticity, um, it also, like, immediately builds trust um, from 
someone who's viewing it to the company before they even have an interview or apply they kind of know what to expect and then going in they can like assess based on that yeah i would i would say i would agree i would agree um what's the second tip for us all right the second tip is don't be afraid to be different um so highlighting different parts of your business um, is very important so your culture might not be as unique as you think it is, um, but I think it's important to figure out what um, things are different and what things maybe um, uh, your culture is stronger in than others. Um, and something I wrote down is that I think um, don't be afraid to like scare away the wrong people like that's like a, that's a good point like you want the people applying and they're interviewing for these jobs to be people who are going to stay there who want to be there and if that means you're scaring away people who aren't right for the job and shouldn't be there in the first place that's a good thing so i think it's like important to be honest about yeah. What? Yeah. I mean, if it's if it's a hard job, I think you need yeah. to be honest about yeah, that. Exactly. You know, if it's, you know, we recently did a, a project for a company, and it, it it seems like they were looking for a specific type of person, and they had to be a little honest about the mm -hmm. job and how hard it was. Um, not that, you know, they wanted to scare away everybody, but they were trying to narrow down. Yeah. On that single person, that they're like, yeah, this person is a perfect fit for our company. So look at the whole the whole picture when you're when you're thinking about who do you want to target. Mm -hmm. uh, now I want to back up. You said something. Your culture might not be as unique as you think it is. I think there's a there's a sense that you know we're we're different and we're unique and people see it. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes people might not see it, and yeah. you've got to really work to yeah. try and differentiate yourself from others mm -hmm. in the same business or same space that you are. Um, That's true. So it, I wouldn't be discouraged by that statement, more challenged by uh, how are you going to stand out mm -hmm. in the recruitment video. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the last thing I think we have is, the, the, or the third, the third tip we have is one video isn't everything. I would say don't put all your eggs into the basket of this video will solve our recruitment woes mm -hmm. because it, it may, but it might not. You might need to do a little extra uh, marketing than just the video. The video can only tell part of the story. Now, it's a, yeah. it's a curated marketing piece that people can see. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, you might you might need to dig a little deeper. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, like... If you have an amazing video, but your website isn't great and you like people don't have easy access to apply for the job, like they're like, wait, how do I do it though? Like, exactly. Then you you're not gonna succeed. You like, can't you apply need... to the job on a video. Yes. So you got to make that experience just as easy, just as fun, yeah, or just as unique mm -hmm. um, to get people to apply. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then also, don't be afraid to put some money behind it. Um, I know that in the in the this day and age, ads on social media, you got to put some money behind it. People will see it. Um, organic will only get you so far, and I think people know this. I'm just reiterating it that sometimes the best use of your money can find you the right recruit. So by not relying just solely on video, you're able to, you know craft a, a, an overall image and, and marketing strategy that I think will draw people in, you know, on top of just the video creating interest, a nice website will keep them there and an easy application process will allow them to apply. Um, you know, all those things working together to find the right person. Um, surprise, we have a bonus tip. This is four tips that help create recruitment videos that work. I know the title says three, but bonus tip. If you're looking for a specific job, don't be afraid to make a video describing that job in great detail. I think 
sometimes people focus on the, the, the company culture, the uh, why come work at this place. Some people are very just interested in what the job is and the more detail you can give them about that specific job, the more they're gonna be uh, willing or uh, not willing to take that job. So it might be used as maybe a hyper filter for, for some very specific job. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think like anytime I've applied for a job, um, I like read the job description and I'm like, that's great. But like, I feel like they're always super vague and it doesn't give you like a real like day in the life yeah, people version want to see that. of what it's going to be. Um, and I think that also goes along with what we said earlier with like it, it gives people more clarity and then like the people who actually want that job will then apply for it you know yeah yeah and I think hearing from maybe someone in the same position or uh, had who have done who has done that experience before and maybe they're higher up in the company giving detail of that specific job yeah only paints a better picture for yeah. what that employee can expect when they work mm -hmm. at that position or yeah and just being able to like see it and like yeah. see the maybe like the room will be and like just being able to see everything yeah with eyes like helps a lot yeah absolutely especially if it's a very specific job yeah i'm thinking like these can be used for um they can be used for almost any job but mm -hmm. specific like tradespeople or mm -hmm machinery operation that is like very specific machinery yeah um gives you a little bit more detail you can go into the, the nitty-gritty nitty-gritty of the position yeah um so people will know oh yeah i i know that machine i know this i know how to work this stuff all right so that's it that's our uh three plus a bonus tip for creating effective recruitment videos thanks for joining us on the kzoom borderline too much fun podcast and We'll see you next time.